Hello and welcome to Save Our Stuff. This Nintendo Switch Joy-Con doesn't work at all. Let me show you. You see, it's not recognized at all. No life, nothing. So, let's take it apart and see what's wrong. Okay, first I remove the four screws. You need a triple wing screwdriver for that. Yeah, come on. Yes, it's out. Then let's pry it open with my fingernail. Um, remove the battery. It's just clipped on. And then there are three Phillips screws. Let's remove it. And then carefully take out the middle part. Just flip it over and remove the ribbon cable. Let's remove this also. Okay. And let's look under the microscope what's wrong with it. First, um, I want to uh, check the pins. Uh, the pins look all right. Nothing wrong with it. No corrosion or something. The ribbon cable, sometimes it's tear apart here, but looks all right. Yeah, okay. Let's look at the motherboard. No corrosion, no water damage. Ah, I see what's wrong. This is a crystal oscillator. The cap is removed, so I think this one is blown. And if you replace it, big chance the Joy-Con works again. So let's remove the motherboard and replace the, this crystal. Um, first I take out the joystick. With these two, these two screws. Carefully open the connector and remove the joystick. Um, remove the antenna. Remove the battery. Just be careful not to rip the cables out. And the motherboard is held down with two screws. Um, the infrared sensor and uh, the uh, NFC uh, sensor is connected via these two connectors. Uh, well, you can open these and uh, take it out, but I think it's easier to remove the NFC connector and uh, well, the motor and the infrared sensor, uh, sensor at once. And then remove it. that. All right. And um, let's look under the microscope. And these two connects are very close. So uh, I will use my hot air station and I will protect these with uh, some captain tape. So they don't get melted. There, like that. Just add some flux. Remove it easy. Okay, now let's use my uh, 
hot air station set to 400, 400 degrees. Um, full airspeed. Should come off very easy. There you go. Um, let's put some extra solar on the pads. bit too much so I remove it with some wick Uh, like that and just grab a new crystal uh, oscillator it's a, a 24 megahertz crystal I have them in stock it's a, well not that common problem but it occurs sometime there it is it has to be on, uh, like that so let's use some flux little bit put the crystal on and use my hot air gun now I'll change it to airflow of 40 out of 120 so it doesn't fly off just heat it up I think it's good. Yes, now it's good. It's fell into place, so now it's on. Uh, while the board's still hot, I'm gonna clean it with some isopropyl alcohol. And now we have to assemble the Joy-Con again and test if it's all working. So first I make sure the buttons are all in the right place. Um, then the um, NFC connector can be connected again. Oh, let's open it. Infrared sensor. Like that. Close it. Put it all together in the shell. Like that. Use the two silver screws with the Phillips screwdriver to screw the motherboard back on. Um, at the motor the joystick with the two gold screws this step I sometimes forget to connect it like that the 
joke on the reel. Carefully put it in. Come on. Come on. Yes. Let's see if the R button is. Yeah, well, it's stuck. The middle part, just grab the um, ribbon cable and put it in the connector. Oops. Now, come on. Like that. Close it. Well, the R button. Um, the three gold screws for the mill part. Don't forget the antenna. And the battery. Um, I always look at the uh, two uh, metal parts. It, have to, it has to be on the top side. Then you can clip it in just like that put the battery in the antenna has to slide in this slot and the cable has to go through this piece of plastic otherwise the joycon won't close very well well okay I see the lights are, st uh, are uh, now uh, blinking so it gives good hope Here's my switch. What do you think? Is it going to work or not? Yes, 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 yes. Let's see if everything is all right. Go to settings, controls and sensors, calibrate sticks. Well, no drift. Let's see if all the buttons are working. Yes, it's fully fixed. Just put the four driving screws back with a driving screwdriver. And the final one and the Joy-Con is fixed. Well, there you go, this Joy-Con is fixed again. If you like to see more, please subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. See you next time.